hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you just some quick tips, teaching you a couple things if you don't already know it, to help you get better at Counter-Strike Source. So the current map right now is uh, CS underscore Office. So the first thing we're going to cover is spraying. Spraying, people tell you not to spray, but everybody sprays at some point. So if you're going to spray, you want to keep two things in mind. One, you want to move the gun crosshair lower, like to the ground, and the other to the left. The reason for this is because if you don't, you get recoil that sends the bullets up to the roof. For example, that's trash. You're not going to kill anybody unless they're jumping or something. <coughs> so, you want to, look, if you aim down to the left, you get a lot less sparsity with your bullets. So that, that's barely moved. Covering the good area, it's not hitting the roof, it's not hitting the floor, it's, it's okay. If you crouch, that's a lot more accurate, but you're also a lot easier to hit. So just keep that in mind. It's a risk versus reward. Long range, you want to shoot in two to three shot bursts. It, it's more accurate because even if you spray down into the left, this is what happens. Like you just you get a lot of random bullets, but if you shoot two to three bullets like this. You can see it's a lot more accurate. You can either click it like it's a deagle, like every bullet. Or you can hold it down for like half a second. Either way, it's your choice. Just remember long to medium range, two to three shot bursts if you can. Short range, you can spray them down, but aim down to the left. Next, there's crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is basically where you should place your crosshair. You don't want to be aiming. Like I see a lot of new players walking around like this, aiming at the floor. And I don't know if it's because of a habit or if they're just not confident in their headshot abilities. I used to do that a lot too, but it's just it's not good form. If you're walking around like this, and let's say there's somebody long haul, and you you see them, you have to go from aiming at the floor all the way from here to here. That's a lot. Of, that's like milliseconds, but it counts when you're trying to get the jump on somebody. So moving from here to here is not as efficient as if you're aiming at the head level and boom, you them right away. So aiming at the head, if you're not confident in the head, at least near the neck level, that way if you have a little recoil, it'll go up. Long range, aiming at the head is also useful. Shoot bullets. Rather than going this and then spraying. Another thing that everyone should know, and if you don't, I'm about to teach it to you, is strafe shooting, or knowing when to shoot when you're strafing. So everybody knows that it's not accurate. If you're walking down the hall and see somebody, it's not accurate at all. You should never do that. So you have to stop to shoot. But how do you stop to shoot without being an easy target? Strafing. Instead of if somebody's here, instead of going this, stopping in the middle of the hallway until they're dead, and then moving back, you want to do it in one fluid motion. To do that, to do that, you strafe. So you strafe out, strafe in. That's the movement to peak that part. Out in out in. So when do you shoot? You shoot when as soon as you change direction to go back in. So you go out, shoot, in. Out, shoot, in. Out, shoot, in. As soon as you change direction to go in, your gun is accurate. You can use the deagle a lot and people think that you're just you're moving and shooting, which you are, but you have that one moment of st stability where you can shoot. So this is you're moving, but you see the accuracy is pretty good because of the strafing. The final thing to keep in mind is snapping to walls with your crosshair. This will help you get to jump on people, or at least not to let them get to jump on you. So for example, <coughs> a common place to peek for counter terrorists is here, but this leaves you susceptible to shots from some random guy here, in this elbow, over here, right here, even right here if they decide to peek out. So let's say you come in main hall, snapping to your, your crosshair to the wall will help you in that it basically cuts what you see into sections. So rather than going like this and being exposed to all of them and trying to peek elbow and getting shot from here, you look at all the areas one at a time. So you go like this, I'll do it with walking so you can see clearly. You snap to the wall, peek right here. If nobody's here, snap back to the wall, keep going. This will help you peek elbow if nobody's there, snap a little more here. If nobody's here, then you just snap to the wall, fall all the way around and then generally somebody's here or here. So I'll do it in quick motion. That way you cover 
all the areas without having to be exposed to all the areas at once. So you can work that out wherever you want on the map. You can follow this wall, peek here, here, this. So try to incorporate those tips into your gameplay and you'll definitely see improvements with time. Of course it takes practice, you're not just going to be amazing just because you watched a video on how to get better, but you will get better. So thanks for watching guys, if you liked it or it helped you, leave a like, a subscribe, a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.